So September the 8th, 2012, Morro Bay, California, at the Marina Peninsula, this is the beginning of a new boardwalk that's being constructed, which will very soon be ADA compatible when these stone-filled sections that I'm stumbling over right now are opened. And there's a sign up ahead which says the boardwalk is available for public use during construction. Uh, just please be careful. And today is a Saturday, so it appears no one's working here. This board walk is about three and a half feet wide, so it may be difficult to pass, um, for example, two wheelchairs. And some people may feel height challenged on this boardwalk because there's a fairly steep edge here, which doesn't bother me, but may bother some people. And there's um, this is the only turnout that I've seen, other than uh, a platform at the very end of the boardwalk. So there's more rock to the north and the famous Monterey cypress tree uh, marker. And to my right is the back bay and the estuaries of Choro Creek and Los Osos Creek and the oyster farming operations. There's terns and shorebirds at the edge of the marsh here. See it, but there are harbor seals hauled out on the entry of Los Osos Creek. Just past noon, and it's pretty windy, as is typical in Morro Bay. So you can see the old path to the right here, and there are new signs put up uh, saying, Please don't disturb the environment by walking in the edge of the estuary on the snails and everything. So this is a beautiful, beautiful little path here, and we even have a nice shaded area. So this would be a great place to come out, just contemplate nature and eat lunch and enjoy the outside here. And to the uh, forward, is the, they're the Moros, the Nine Sisters as they're called. So um, not, not visible here is um, Morro Rock. Then we have Black Hill straight ahead. And we have Cerro Cabrillo and Hollister Peak and Romaldo, Cerro, Bishop, San Luis. And probably not visible here, Islay. Those are the nine sisters of the nine Moros volcanic remains. So I'm doing a, a GPS a tracking system at the same time I'm recording this from the iPhone Motion X-GPS application. So we'll get an exact measurement of the distance and length of this new, new uh, boardwalk. And once more a pan out. This is the sand spit in the background, pointing west now, north, east and towards the southwest, southeast here. There's one in the new sign saying fragile area, please stay on trails. On the left up here is a very favorite spot for birders as there's lots of interesting birds in this cluster of willows here. So it'll be a killer bird watching observation platform. Off in the distance you see the Elfin Forest, which has a very similar board boardwalk. Now I'm past the halfway mark here, and I'm actually to the end of the marina. You can just barely see the last boat there in the end of the marina. And then there's going to be one more uh, cut out here. 
and uh, ADA accessible ramp. And at the end of the boardwalk, there's a fairly large platform, but I don't see an exit. I believe there's going to have to be a return to uh, get back to the parking lot. This is Cerro Cabrillo straight ahead. Very nice hiking trails back there. There is a path here, and you can see the Moor Bay Campground back there, but I don't think they're going to have access here. I measured the width of this by my feet. One, two, three and a half feet the way I measured that. One, two, three and a half feet. <laughs> For all the time and expense and effort put into this um, platform, which is really sturdy, has very, very sturdy piers that are all anchored with multiple poles, I wish they would have gone an extra foot on width. So straight ahead now you can see El Choro Creek. You can kayak down that creek, just fine. And the tide's reasonably low now, so all this area to the right is dry. But the water will come up to very close to the boardwalk at high tides. And you can see the campground to the left. Just about at the end of the boardwalk here. This may be one of the longest videos I've ever made using my iPhone. I wanted to sort of simulate the, the time and nature of walking the entire length of this boardwalk. And I did start at the uh, north end of the peninsula. did not include the dirt path portion that um, would get you to the start of this. I don't see any uh, planned exit here to the parking lot, but it'd be nice if they added one right here. So that's the Morro Bay Marina California State Park Boardwalk Project, September the 8th, 2012. Mike Baird.